Hello guys and welcome to a top four match from the Game of Thrones World Championships in 2015. My name is Steven. My name is Robert. And we are joined on the screen by Sam and Neil. Hey Sam and Neil. Both playing for a shot at the finals of this tournament to be the first second edition technically not but technically yes world champion so what we got targaryen fealty and looks like banner of the rose with martell yeah we got the martells that are looking to the tyrells for some help martell tyrell and then we just have some dragon fealty going on the and, rails and let me tell you man let me tell you we so we or we've done L's. a lot of the the commentary on on the top four and the finals uh, nice there, flop for there's Tyrell. There's a lot of diversity in this in this meta, man. Yeah, we've seen surprisingly, Tyrells, just for we've a core box. We've seen Targaryens. We've seen Greyjoys. This isn't the Conquest core box where it's just like, oh, Chaos of Carrier is a pack master. We um, haven't, no, we haven't seen it. Yeah, we, we, we have it. seen a, a good amount of diversity, though I will concede I haven't seen very much of the Starks. Not a lot of Starks, not a lot of Night's Watch. That's true. The North is not strong. The North right now is not strong. It's because it's so cold. They're hunkered down for winter times. Yeah, it's chilly. They, the, Burr. the North has never been first to act on much. No, you know? no. Uh, so we're gonna kick it off here. We got the classic Calm over Westeros. Essentially, the loyalty money can buy open of old, and it is foiled by a noble cause. Foiled only in so far that there are more characters on the board. Looking back at first edition to think that loyalty was even a plot. Minus one claim. Yeah, just everything. It's awesome. And then it's a four three one. It's like this just is everything. This is arguably the best plot ever. Just fundamentals, man. Fundamentals. Just fundamentals. Fondies. Alright, so Neil got two dragons on the board and a Sir Jory. He Way drops Danny. The game is crazy. Sam, on the other hand, running that Martell Tyrell garbage. He's got Marjorie, who's actually reasonable. Olinda's informant. Not exactly what you're looking for on the flop, but you know These what? aren't heavy hitters, but let numbers me tell you. Numbers. Marjorie is one of the most powerful characters in Absolutely. the game. Because she will just confound your opponent's ability Completely. to plan for whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a disaster, really. Yeah, an absolute disaster. Plus three strength at your command. All right, there's the King's Row. Going to drop that for... <gasps> And some fealty. And some fealty oh, action. Kind of oh, uh, Danny. Danny. Danny with both dragons. With two dragons. Wait, we need a third. We need, if we have a third, completes then the set. We're just gonna just knock that deck over and call Danny it. Danny is the boardwalk. The three dragons are collectively the part. There it place. is. There oh it is. my goodness! Build some hotels on those characters. Goodness gracious! The, you can just you can take that one to the bank all day. How Man, are you? How is this? Even? I don't know. On the first turn, this is insane. I haven't seen this yet in a game at all. And furthermore, if you are in Neil's position, please feel free to arrange those characters so you have like the contiguous portrait. Yeah, please. Yeah, please make the portrait for us. Neil. Make the portrait. Neil. Neil. Make the portrait. <laughs> Neil. Neil. I don't, so. What? This is like a dream, right? This I mean, is a dream. Am I in a, am I in a dream? And Sir Jor is there to help out. Man. Am I in a dream? What a trooper. Am I asleep? You're not asleep. Pinch this is me, all somebody. very real. See, this is this is the basis of the Targaryen master plan here. Is, you know. Look at that. Dragons. What the heck? Oh. What's oh, going to oh. what's going to happen? It's going to be crazy. Man. I don't know. We Things got, are going to have to get crazy. Sam's got Sunspear. He's got uh, you know, he can and Fire back on a challenge at plus one claim. But it's which is pretty there, okay. there's almost nothing that I can anticipate that will equalize this for Sam on the first turn. Almost nothing. I, I mean, I'll, I'll stick with nothing. Yeah, I don't think there's a way out of this except. Oh that. my god! Except for Varys. <laughs> Holy smokes! Except that exact card. Except this exact card. It's like if Varys can somehow stay alive, which is pretty good given that the Targs only have one gold, they yep. would have to win an intrigue and do like a Tears of List to kill Varys. But he's no, got the intrigue icon to perfect. I always he's forget a, that. Yeah, he's. Oh my god. Oh but my god. He's. Uh, this is going to be hilarious. This, this board is getting blowed up. Blowed up indeed. A heavy investment from the Targaryens to potentially just be washed away. Just completely. Washed Varys away. Just, oh, I need to. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh goodness. Just this stupid. is the kind of crazy Jankers Anonymous <laughs> kind of stuff that we're looking for in this game. And this is, I think, a great case in point about why... We don't need Valor Morghulis in it, this game. It can it can be a it can be a case for because, that for sure. Because, look at this. Because look at Varys here. It's a character with a ridiculous cost with a ridiculous effect. The fact that we could ever just play a plot and wipe the board, even with it does seem a little no weird. claim and low gold. It's like eh, that's super awesome and beneficial. Yeah, looking looking at Varys and just just 
doing work here. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't. I just to... I can't see how this plays out. So there are going to be some challenges, but you can rest assured that Varus is looking to trigger here. I think he's going to trigger. At yeah, which think... point, this thing just becomes a toss-up all over again. They're, yeah. they're both sitting at pretty much even, Steven, in terms of economy here on locations. It all determine will all come down to rather uh, what the power is looking like. Who might yeah. have an edge there? Oh man, this is insane! I love this so much. Holy cow! What's happening, Danny? Uh, Danny coming in on looks like an intrigue challenge. Intrigue. She has insight. March. So, she does have insight, yeah. So that's gonna, that's going to be a plus one card for the Targaryens, which will take some of the sting, I think, out of having invested seven to put her on the board for one turn. Absolutely. Whew. And now, you know, Sam loses this challenge, triggers Sunspear, gets a two-claim intrigue back at... That's right. Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen here, it looks that like. That is what's going to happen. An old Varus. Man, can you imagine... Whew. Yeah, look at that. He's just sitting there, just being Varus. Just man. being Varus. Slippery spider that he is. Old Chrome Dome. It's like a fat Krillin of Restoros. The old Chrome Dome. Mm hmm. He doesn't have that dye on his head, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That may, that may have been a power challenge, looks like. Waking the Dragon. Ooh. Incredible play here by Neil. So that's going to put Danny back into his hand at the end of the phase. That really Saving her from the uh, Varus there. That really helps. That's going to take a lot of the sting out of this Varus. But wow, the fact that three dragons are still leaving the field isn't anything to... Uh, I mean, yeah, that's... Kind of like rationalize away still here. Still wild. It's still very, very potent effect. But... It will give uh, Neil probably almost a, a surefire guaranteed replay of Danny next turn with that King's Road still in play. Yep, Danny goes to hand there. Boom. That takes a lot of the sting out of Varus. Yeah, do you even trigger? I mean, you, do don't, you? you can wait until next turn, dare him to play Danny again, weather another challenges phase, and then get her next turn. I Oh, man, now we got a game of cat and mouse here. Man. Ah. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 totally up in the air right now. It seemed like Sam had kind of seized the uh, the tempo of the game from that, Neil what with Varus play. being played because it made almost the entire first turn immaterial. A few little exchanges of power and dead characters, but now, yeah, waking the dragon play just oof, just really sold turned it, it for around, me. turned it around, or turned, just sold it for me, man. All right, so now Sam looking at plots and wondering. You know, I could trigger, could not trigger. To trigger. What plot am I going to play? And or that's not good. to trigger. You look ahead to the next turn, next phase. Think about how it's going to play out, what you're going to do. Given the board being cleared, given the board not being cleared. He's going to do it. Oh! Discarding every character from the board. Proc it. There they go. So this will still, nonetheless, even with Danny getting yoinked back to hand, Reset the board, let uh, Sam get his feet potentially back underneath him, because that was a uh, definitely a rough start for him. Yeah. And let's see if he can uh, spring back and win a game. I'll bet, yeah, last turn, I'll bet he called Intrigue on that column of Westeros. That makes mm. all the sense. I was like, well, where's the claim? Well, there well, is none. Well, let me tell you, there wasn't any. All right, so now we're essentially reset here. Three power up for Neil, a Danny in mm -hmm. hand. And where does the the next plot phase go? Is it exciting? Is it just fundamentals? You're just looking to pick up some resources? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's kind of anything because we're, we're more or less back at first turn here. Okay, so we have summons for Sam, standard, and then heads yeah. on spikes. Heads on spikes. That's a cool one. Okay. That's right. Of course, right. we know the Wily Martells have ways out of a lot of games that they look like are just getting punted. They do. They do indeed. Getting Marjorie. Marge right, is so Marge comes back. Back. 
Varys and she's better than ever. Three, hides her and then he again, three costs her. for that character is unprecedented. It is crazy, man. To have that icon spread with that power, with that uh, strength. Mm hmm. Ah, it's real good. Think about it. If you're not running her, there's yeah, a lot of good reasons yeah. to. Three of, man. Three of right now. Era time. All right. Draw phase. Draw Getting some two cards. cards a piece. And now the real Game of Thrones begins. That's right. Five gold. Sam starts. Taking a look. What's he got? What's he got? All sorts of desert characters. Caravans and scavengers. Sand. Traders. Traders. Oases. Oasi. Yeah, and a beauty always Martell always it's putting, not putting up a beautiful board. Just always putting up a beautiful board. Why is it the desert people are so cool? What's up with that? It's because uh, when you don't have a lot of things, is there aren't in the desert, what you do have has to be pretty neat. I like that. Right? Good life philosophy as well. That's right. That's why the Tyrells are so gaudy. Yeah, that's right. Behold, uh, Roses. ostentatious wealth. There is a green blood trader. Going to take two off the top, pocket Boom. one, and put one on the bottom. Let's see what he's playing with. Can't tell. He's shuffling them quick. He doesn't even want to look at him. Ah, uh, these two cards. Couldn't even tell. Taking one, putting what looked to be like a tears or a milk down at the bottom. Couldn't tell you. I still can't. And a King's Road. Another right. King's Road. Sam getting some econ going here. Nice. Going to drop in something, but that ha that makes an impact. That's what we need. We need an impact card here. Yeah, most assuredly. Because right now, these are just like weenies with some economic supplements. Mm -hmm. Or weenie, singular. Important to note, and you're probably not going to be able to get Danny out. And don't even know that he wants her out at this point. All the dragons yeah. have been discarded. Danny by herself, not a not a hugely important character. There's oh, Mr. Hard, Hoda. Hard casting, as they say, the Ario Hota. And a gardener. Just a five-strength military beater there, and then we got the gardener. Well, Samwise Gamgee coming in there. With a power icon. So Ooh. we got the full spread. We got a, a military icon, an intrigue, and a power. Very and nice. It's going to be over to Neil to match this. Question marks abound. Question marks. But, um, I mean, he, he still has that Danny in hand. We'll, we'll just have to see what he can... Marshall up here. He, he needs gold. He needs resources. There's not a lot of incoming threat. Area Hota does have a lot of strength on that military challenge, but otherwise they're weenies. Okay, for the there's other two Little icons. Finger. Little Finger can shut Quit down drop. anything else. Two cards plus gold. A he, great investment for five. Well, he needs to get something out there. He just dies for that military challenge. Oh, mm. thank goodness. It yeah, reducer, finally. And a one cost? Oh, man. Ah, uh, free visceries. Man, if he doesn't have those two cards, Little Finger just get gets axed there. That's right. He must have had them when he played it. Must have. Must have. This reads is going to be handy for at least some uh, unopposed challenges here. But, notably, Targaryen's without any military power right now. Yeah, this is just going to go right to the garbage can. I have no doubt in my mind. Never been so sure of anything in my life. I've never been so sure. I've seen a lot of spinals, dude. Think he's faking it? Little finger? Yeah, he probably wants. He would. He would fake, yeah. Littlefinger would do He'd anything. Nothing is beneath him. Here comes the intrigue challenge. Oh, man. Leading See, with. See, this is what's so painful. Yeah, what do you do? You, uh, yeah, he's you defending stuff it. it. Okay. Mm. Well, now, Sam's got to feel pretty okay about that. M Militaire. There's Ario going to clear out Viserys here. Oh, man. Viserys. Oh, man. It Viser we, somebody, it's, I think it's Viserys, right? Somebody solved this on the, on the last video that I asked this on. But I, I like keeping the perpetual debate ongoing. I think it, it... I like establishing the correct answer and then just immediately undercutting it. Look at the gardener coming in here for an unopposed power for, challenge. Almost, yeah, man. Sneaking how Sneaking the gardener into the, <laughs> into the estate there. Man. Got an inside man. War by gardening, man. Let me oh, tell you. That's incredible. Those Tyrells, that's how they like to play. I love this game. And I love Sam's just weird Martell stuff. You know, it's just like... That board that he has right there just got three challenges. Like, Can you believe it? And, and it none. shouldn't have happened with those weenies. And none on the other end. None. None incredible. challenges. But he did kill a Knight of Fleurs That's right at the yeah. onset. Now, if there's... Okay, if there's a march to the wall here, 
this is really bad for Neil. Oh man, and I you think, are exactly right. I think Sam runs. Uh, he has ball. to. He I has he to. And this is why you have to run that card. Because how many times are you in a position where your opponent has one character and you have one chud? Other, because like otherwise, Danny is is easily attainable here. Yes. And Littlefinger staying on the board is huge. Yes. March to the wall is killer here. Is he get? Does he have it? He's Robert? got to. He's got to. Tell I'm me, counting on it. Does he have it? And you, you've also been pretty good at calling the plots. Does he have it? You tell me. I would think you knew it, knew what was going to happen in advance, but you didn't watch these games. No, I didn't. I didn't. Although I may have, I may have caught some of them at, at Worlds. Ooh! Oh, see, it is a there march. Is. Yeah, there's March. Boom. And what's coming out? Uh, call, the, call on the banners. It's gonna give him three gold. Man, he almost raked in so much gold there, but Jeez. little fingers out. Woo. Little finger. Woo. See you later. He'll still be able to afford his Danny if he wants to play if it. But he wants it, yeah. why would you sink all your money into Danny right he now? He needs to you drop wouldn't. like five. Is the point, dudes? Yes. Bodies, warm bodies. Warm, warm bodies. We have a saying in the Thrones community. It's called warm bodies. No vampires, please. It's what we need. They're cold. Nothing but warmth. Anybody here see Twilight? I actually have seen Twilight. What'd you think? I watched it in the theater. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. With ah. an ex-girlfriend. Ah, no wonder. That was the end. All right, we we're marching. in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucks. I <laughs> loved it. Sucks. We can't go on like this. We can't continue. All right, so there you have it. We got March. We got a weenie and a little finger at the wall right now. I don't know... Can you why, imagine that? Why the night the Night's Watch has got to be really disappointing. Let me tell that. you, I, if I was Night's Watch, I'd be terrified. We if don't Littlefinger need. Showed up. We don't need any more accountants. You know, and brothel gonna be, managers. He's going to be commander of the wall in two days, Littlefinger. We need more sword wielders and builders. There's a desert scavenger playing the camels out. Mm. Sam not really committing to much here. I love that blood orange grove. Oh, and finally, large Marge. Large Marge gets back on the board. She's back, and he's like, holding on to two gold. That's tricksy. It is tricky, and, and Marge being able to pump any challenge out of these weenies just really makes them actually quite formidable. Yes, it does. When you can swing in, that's what I'm talking about. You can declare with these silly little weenies. Just a one-cost power challenge, And it's dog. like, it could be a Trump attack, or it could be... Just substantive nothing. it could just be Neil and your guys you yeah man Ugh, it's crazy anyway three copies of Marge yeah three of them TLDR three of them I'll probably opine at length later anyway about how good she is that art is also spectacular it is she's very much very sultry very Margie sultry, yeah very sultry character maybe One it's Marjorie mm-mm Neil uh, really having to think about how this one's going to play out. Yeah, because... I, mean, I don't know, man. It's all of a sudden, Sam is just on it. Yeah, Sam's just on it suddenly, and Neil had his own, like, just solid performances. You know, getting Denarius out with the three dragons, getting Denarius back in the hand with Waking the Dragon, all these things that we thought were just going to keep him ahead, but it didn't last. No, it didn't last. There's milk on Marge. Okay, oh, that's a start. That's that a is start. great. And not not a, a misplay in any sense of the word. Shutting down that power on Marge keeps these weenies under control. Now she's just a three-cost, three-strength bicon. Yeah, reasonable. <laughs> totally reasonable. I'd still play Still her. reasonable. And now what, though? Can you? Here's the question. Can you survive the military challenge? Can you survive the military challenge if he has put to the sword? It's going to be hard with that area hotel out there. Yeah, he's got to he's got to essentially play out a military block with it and have more things that are valuable enough to not get put to the sword to make yep. it all worth it. It's yep. like what, what do you do? Have the exactly? strength to oppose him on intrigue so you can maintain card advantage. You all gotta, these things. All these. Things. It's a uh, it's a sticky wicket for Neil right now. And if you don't follow cricket, well, I don't either. Then we're on the same page. We're on the same page. We all know that one phrase though. Sticky wicket. Sticky wicket. Which I believe means whenever the uh, thing you're hitting the ball with sticks to your hands. See, we don't even know <laughs> what you hit the ball That's with. That's not it at all. I think a wicket is I think is it's a, 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 a bat. Isn't the wicket the little gate? It might be. Is a sticky wicket where it just like, you know, you try to get it through and then it just barely doesn't get in there? Like it's sticky? Like I said, I don't follow that game. Maybe you try to hit it and it doesn't move? I've done I that thought it was time. when, you know, the pitcher didn't wash his hands recently and was eating a lot of candy. Yeah. And then he touched something, arguably or not, the wicket, and has now made it sticky. Well, I mean, that's also a reasonable thing to uh, to throw in there. Because those cricketeers eat a lot of candy, the as I hear told. Look at Neil playing nothing, by the way. Look at Neil! Five gold and he plays nothing. What is happening? What is going on? Oh, oh hey, there goes Danny. The Danny. Man, I hope this just doesn't... 
snowball oh, for it's Sam snowball, here. Because the power snowball. battery that Neil had built up is suddenly being converted into Sam's awesome power battery. I mean, you couldn't write a game crazier than this. Just going in. This and is like, crazy. This is why you always try to ally it with the Martells. Because those guys just wear you down. It's just confusing. It's You're just left in a state of bewilderment. And he just loses five gold. Ah. Gosh, you can't, you painful. Can't, you can't win this game doing that. Uh, no, you cannot. You can't just have a turn where you're sitting out, I which mean, is essentially what happened to Neil here. Seems to me that Neil had one character that he could drop, and it wasn't going to be enough to stop the military yep. challenge. It just would have died anyway. Yep. Like, and that's them's the breaks, man. Like whenever all of your dragons go out turn one, yep, you don't have a lot to play. We got Clash of Kings mm, down there, a good one, and a summons. Ooh. Clash of Kings is going to speed this up, giving an additional power from losing uh, a, a challenge. So wow. That's that's a big deal. You win a uh, power challenge, you get to move a power, so it's basically a double power challenge. Double tap. Very, very tap, nice. Tap. And uh, Sam going to use that to so hopefully what? just seal this one right up. Neil needs his, his own Varus to stabilize the situation. Yeah, at this point, things have gone downhill. He has not gotten the cards that he needs. He played a lot of his stuff out first turn and set up. More accurately, he needs his own Varus to then survive the challenges phase. Yep. To then stabilize the scenario. And What's, in the meantime, Sam continues to build his location base. Build his location base, accrue more power, so that even if Neil makes it through this turn, Sam will probably be sitting at around, I don't know, 12-ish gold? Yep. Yep, this is this is. Really I'd be surprised strong. if he won this turn. Really, really strong. I don't really think strong, it's quite yeah. possible, but we'll so see. He summons for one of the dragons. Summoning. And will that be enough? Will that be? Uh, will that be solid enough? Uh, you're gonna need a lot. You're He's gonna, gonna need a lot. a lot. God, I just hate losing five gold last turn. It's. It's not what you want. No, you you do that in a game, and you immediately know that things are looking grim. Very grim. Like a grim fairy tale. Grimm's Brothers fairy tales. This is an incredible turnaround. Somebody's getting stuffed in that oven. And it's the witch. Incredible turnaround here, man. Look at this. The, Viserion. The, the amount of... Yeah, it was Vissy that he went and got. I don't know. Will he play him? You tell me. I... Uh, it depends. It depends on what he's got in his hand. Because if, if I had my ideal hand for Neil right now, it would be a Varus something else so that he has the padding but i don't think he can afford Varus right now i mean can he just he? wasted five gold and he's gonna waste six to clear the board it's so uh, tough uh, well, okay, okay so he this, does what he can this hits the board and then unsullied, unsullied is reasonable. reasonable he does have initiative so unsullied is good for leading that kind of uh offensive charge here I'm trying trying to get something going here will it be enough it's hard to think that it is because Sam has an already solid board, even though most of it is weenies or characters without abilities. Oh, man. We got a right? Yeah. Right or left. I don't know. I think I it's know. right. It is right. You're right. He's right. Stage right? No, no left, but three gold to be sat on, which is a fair bit. I mean, hijinks could be coming our way. This this looks almost insurmountable to me at this almost. point. The turnaround was was turn one, and y you know dropping that varies is the tale of this game. Yes, Sa Sam has forever endeared himself to the viewer for really just making uh, yeah, one of the most a, critical a, plays. A truly invaluable lesson um, that you shouldn't overlook. Varus, run a copy, run a two. These are hard slots to fill up your deck with. We understand it's nowhere near as convenient with the brutal convenience and potency of having that kind of an effect on a plot as, yep. as it was yep. in yep. yesteryear. But let me tell you, it won this game for Sam, potentially. Because if think he continues this trend... Yeah, I think it has totally won him this game. Now, look, he's got he's sitting on three gold and he launches a big old power uh, military challenge. That's right. Seven. So, so you've got to be careful of put to the sword here, right? Mm -hmm. You've got to watch out mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, because he's got three gold. He could do a put to the sword. He could still do... A, um, a Tears of Lists. He might not have to because of Claim and then the Put to the Sword, but who knows? He's got yeah, options. He's got options here. Options. Marge could launch in there. And what's Neil gonna gonna be up to? So Unsolid is going to oppose and Unsullied. then die. All right. And now we have Marge coming in. For an Intrigue, I'm assuming. Intrigue challenge happening. Intrigue challenge. 
But, uh, of course, the dragons. Oh, Dracarys. Dracarys. That'll do it. Um, to kill her. Oh, wait. Sam's doing something back. Yeah, I paid one. That's got to be Hand's, Hand's Judgment, Hand's Judgment. Right? There it is. Oh, my gosh. Boom, shock. Sam just playing that classic Martell nonsense. Ugh. Turn and it off. And then tears of tears. on Viserys. Can you believe Viser it? Viserion. Viserion. Oh, my goodness. This is exactly gracious. the kind of shenane that we're talking about. Goodness Pulls gracious. Pulls an Illyrio. Man, Sam is running away with this. It is going to be next to impossible for Neil to come back from these kinds of potent turns levied against him. He missed all of last turn. He is getting run right out of town on this turn. It's You, you just can't do that in Waking this game. the dragon. Waking the dragon will the help a bit. Going to oppose the Desert Scavenger. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. oh no, confinement. He loses his icons. Oh, my goodness. He loses his icons. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Sam and getting an extra power for the goodness. King's plot. Sam literally has everything he needs when he needs it. The, from the the viseries, uh, not viseries, Varus early on, to confinement and hands judgment and tears of list. This game is over. This game is over. Pack it up, call it, seal it up. Sam's at thirteen now. Neil at a measly one, sadly. Get the handshake ready. The Targaryens just can't catch a break. Yeah, this one is over, my friends. Not that I'm on over, personal over. bias against the Targaryens. Wildfire! That will... Do something. Help, but it, but it, it won't be isn't. enough. It's too late. It just is The isn't. game has already been decided. Sam's going to lose two weenies. It isn't enough. It just isn't enough. It isn't enough. He keeps two or, th excuse me, three reasonable characters. If he gets a left... Yeah, and he's summoning, too. He gets anything that he wants. Man, look at those cards. Look at this handful of nonsense. Whatever he wants. That's, he's looking for a character Look at these there. choices. Is he going for Elena? Summon, summon, summon. The Queen of Thorns herself. Who do you desire? Insult Sam? to injury at this point. Who do you desire? Whomever. Could Te be right, could tell be us, left. Tell us your pleasure and it shall be yours. And it shall be yours. So, uh, yeah, it, it would take... Neil Avaris somehow just procking grab, just outside grab of some Dom. card draw. Yeah, Look just some that. card draw. I'll take Classic more. Martel I'm gonna nonsense. shuffle. I'm gonna take more cards. I wasn't just quite take happy more with cards. Because because really he'll take a weenie at this point. Absolutely, stay on top. Why not? You Pat get a weenie. It. You get an intrigue icon. You get a you reinforce get a your victory, which is already more or less apparent. Very very solid. Looking really really good. Yes, it is. Greenblood Trader, the. Uh, the the workhorse of the Martells. Very colorfully dressed as well. Oh, is that well, a Caliot? I think I saw Caliot in hand there. What? Uh, we're reducing by two. We're reducing by two. Are we doing that? Or, or are we not? We're going to get some gold first. He kneels him. He unneels First them. gold. And then the kneels back. And Double reduce. The trader. Give trader. Me, give me the top two. Choose we, one. We got uh, somebody in some uh, location. Looking at the hand, not want to make any mistakes. That's right. Take your time. Don't rush it. Take your time. Got plenty of time. These are You're finals matches. Yeah. Very important finals matches. Yeah. One of two. You got a 50% chance of making the right choice randomly. <laughs> so if you add in a little research, you study it out a little bit. Just study it out. That's what you do. You feel good. All right. Takes his one for the trader. Boom. We have a King's Road a immediately drop and pop. used for Caliot. And sitting on four gold, this is going to be what? so hard to, to Sitting on with. four gold, hijinks for and days. Over on Neil's side, I, I don't even know. There's Danny. Danny Doing for nothing. token resistance, oh, and, and then there's the game. The handshake. So there's there the you game. have it. Con huge congrats to Sam. That was wow. an incredible performance. Wow. Hard to believe that he came back from that awesome first turn and by Neil. I have to imagine that Neil relives this moment in his head every yes. once in a while where it's like, I had everything I one, wanted. One card trumped five. And then all of a sudden it slipped away from me. Yes. Those Martells. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Great it's game from both four. players. Yes. Be sure to check out the finals, which we've also posted from this tournament, Worlds 2015. And please do support us. In, yeah, check out our store page. While yeah, you're at it. we got subscriptions. You can get all of the Thrones packs now and into the indefinite future. Indefinitely delivered right to your door, no problem. Definitely indefinitely. It's called Covenant subscriptions. We also have banner tokens. Banner our, tokens. Our power tokens made out of mahogany. Oh, ah, for a discerning man or woman. So thanks for watching, guys. We got more coming from Thrones 2.0, and we hope to see you there. See you.